that talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! division world champion i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get them two belts take out two divisions if anyone can do it it's me you're blessed that i chose you you're blessed that i chose to whoop your ass next Most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title, but against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenger. For Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. What a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter. And you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is very well-rounded. He literally has no weaknesses in his game. He is technical in all areas of mixed martial arts. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is as accomplished a submission specialist as we've seen cross into the UFC in years. And other than the Damian Maya types, most guys just aren't used to facing opponents at this level. You gotta think he'll be trying to get this fight to the canvas early so he can work to set up a submission. This guy is an elite submission fighter. If he can close the distance, get a hold of his opponent, and bring this fight to the ground, his opponent will be in deep, deep trouble. take for this light heavyweight fight. Both fighters are 26. Some differences in height and reach as well. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Natal, Brazil, the flag! And now he is his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 63 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, downtown. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. The referee for this one is Mario Yamasaki. And we are underway here at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. 
Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Nice kick to the body. Good punch. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, beautiful lead right hand. Leg kick now, Joe. Both fighters a little bit hesitant to engage, feeling each other out. Lands a punch. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, both men exchange. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Hit him with the jab. Try to establish that jab. Caught him with a punch. That leg kick lands. Look at that nasty jab. Fainting with that kick. Good straight right. Missed that shot. That one hurt. Oh, there he connected. He blocks the punch. Trying to double up on that jab. Just misses with the jab there. Tags him. And there he swung with a haymaker. Blocks that kick to the body, Joe. Well done. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Lands flush with the left hand. Under a minute now to go round one. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Really missed with that right hand. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Nice jab. Good combination so far from both men. Sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look here. Here's a body kick. And here's another clean shot that lands. There's a powerful kick to the body. Very impressive striking going on in that round. Brittany Palmer with us tonight. All right, round two. All right, so here we go with round two. We'll see if these fighters get after it. You saw at the beginning of round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Entertaining round, don't get me wrong, but we will see here in round two if there's an uptick in the aggression on both sides. Strong defense there to block the shot. Lands a strike there. He left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. Inside leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Trying to establish... Oh, man! about that chin. Oh! What a leg kick! Under three minutes here to go in round two. 
Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You Good right hand on the top. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He is in trouble. Body kick. Look at that. Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Oh, tagged him. Finds his range with the jab. Oh, nice. Punches block. Hit right with the right hand. hand. Nice leg kick. Good short punch there. Five seconds remain in the round. Oh! Looks like his leg is hurt here, Joe. You can see him limping a little bit. Check that kick. Oh, and he's down! He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Now he touches him with the left. Ten minutes in the books. And here's a nice kick to the body that lands. And here's another kick to the body. And here's one more perfectly placed kick to the body. The original Ariane Celeste, good to have her in the building as usual. Definitely gonna want to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Doubling up on the jab. Well, he continues to land a high. Oh, he's oh, he's right hand. oh, he's getting hit. Big body shot. shot. To the body. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Oh, and he connects there. Both men landing in that exchange. This cut in his face is getting worse. Right lands. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Good defense there. Two minutes and change to go in our third and final round. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Tagged him. Oh! Straight right, he misses. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. How about that shin? Yeah. 
Joey missed with that straight right attempt. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Continues to eat power shots here. Tagged and both guys really throwing with authority. not for any lack of effort. The finish didn't materialize, but he landed so much volume in terms of significant strikes here tonight that you gotta think this decision is just an eventuality. He deserves to be the winner after one of the bigger efforts of his UFC career. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision. Well, what a moment for this young fighter here tonight as he gets the nod by way of decision. I thought both fighters had their moments in the fight, but in the end, he was the better fighter tonight and deserved to get the nod. And this is going to be a confidence builder for him moving forward, I would think, as well. I think his skills are starting to turn that proverbial corner, and we'll see if he can take his game to the next level as he moves forward here in the U.S.